everyone, this is Max with Avon Website Pro, and today we're going to talk about the setting automatically adding invitations to our calendar. If we go here to the 27th, you see there's a small arrow there. That means that this appointment was automatically added to my calendar uh, th that was sent from someone else. Let's say that we don't want people to automatically put appointments on our calendar whenever they send us one. So let's go here to settings. Let's scroll down to where it says automatically add invitations to my calendar. You could say yes, like I have in the setting here, but you could also say yes, but don't send event notifications unless I have responded, yes or maybe. Or you can actually say no, only show invitations to which I have responded. So you'll get uh, an appointment thing in your email. Okay, if you have if you have no selected, we'll select no. Hit save. Okay, and now future events. Let's go to the twenty seventh here. Close. Future events now, whenever we get an appointment, will not show up until we have agreed to it in our Gmail. So if we go to our Gmail, we could see that I have sent this uh, appointment. And I can respond yes, maybe, or no. Okay. And if I respond no to that particular appointment, then it will reflect in my calendar as well. So that's how you set, make settings so that appointments do not show up in your calendar. And you can see here that I've responded no to this, respond no to it also as well in the calendar can't make it okay and that'll send your uh, whoever sent you this appointment a, a notification saying that you can't make it so how you do that once again is you go to settings you scroll down to where it says automatically add invitations to my calendar and I will hit yes but don't send event notifications unless I've responded yes or maybe because I want them to show up on my calendar and have the opportunity to respond from there. Here, you would only have the opportunity to respond in your Gmail. Okay, then I'll scroll up to the top, I'll hit save, and then my new settings have taken effect. This is Max with Aiden Website Pro. I hope this tutorial was beneficial to you.